Fellow citizens, thank you for watching this video. You might notice that I uh, am wearing an orange shirt today. Uh, and in fact, it's the only piece of clothing, uh, the color orange, that, uh, that I can find in my wardrobe. Uh, I'm wearing it uh, because June 5th is uh, National Gun Violence Awareness Day. And uh, those of us who have been uh, asked to uh, honor that day uh, are asked to wear uh, some clothing, some orange piece of clothing. So here I am. Uh, this is in honor of all the victims and survivors of gun violence. Coronavirus, of course, it's, uh, the coronavirus is still with us. We're in the green phase. Very little is, is, is new has changed since uh, I, uh, I reported to you last week. Uh, I think things are going well in the, in, in the town. Uh, more and more people are turning out and patronizing our local businesses. And I myself have been in a number of local businesses and find them to be adhering to all the regulations of the governor in, in strict manner. And I, I think you, you know, for those of you who want to venture out and feel safe enough to venture out, I, I, I think it's safe to say that, uh, that the local business community has, uh, has responded very well uh, to, the, uh, to the restrictions that the governor has, uh, has placed on them. Uh, now I want to turn to uh, the other crisis that has been uh, uh, front and center for the last uh, week. And that, of course, is the, the uh, <clears throat> murder of George Floyd in, in Minneapolis. Uh, I want to, before I get into the details of some of this, I, I also want to commend the students of State College <coughs> Area High School who planned the uh, demonstration last week uh, to, uh, in memory of George Floyd and to uh, uh, show the, the community's support for uh, a, a new uh, attitude in the United States toward racism and uh, discrimination and uh, violence on African American on African Americans. Uh, during this last week, I have been perceiving, as have other members of the borough and the members of borough council, a, a, a large number of uh, emails from citizens requesting information about our police department, our pol department's policing methods, etc. Far too many, I, I apologize, but far too many to answer uh, individually. Um, so I want to assure you that uh, that the borough will be issuing several reports in the near future that will be responding to the questions that citizens have raised about policing and in state college, police methods, and, and, and so on. Um, uh, these are, uh, the number of requests is an indication of the concern of the state college uh, community. And I, uh, I thank you for that. And I urge you to continue to raise your voices uh, <clears throat> in the service of justice, as I know you, you probably will. But I also want to say that I want to recognize the State College Police Department for their high level of professionalism, their commitment to diversity, equity and inclusion, and their practice of holding each other accountable. This has been the culture within the department for decades. I can assure you that our police are as disgusted with the, uh, the occurrence of the incidents in Minneapolis as, as our, uh, most of our citizens as well. Now I want to turn my attention to uh, the issue of, of violence. As uh, we've all been aware, as the demonstrations uh, across the country, fortunately not here in State College, but across the country, have ruled out that there has been some violence associated with them. Uh, like the vast majority of you, I abhor the violence against property that a small minority of demonstrators have caused. <clears throat> but keep in mind that the rage that some feel towards the unfairness of their lives and 
our society's unfairness is difficult for some to uh, constrain. And uh, I, for one, understand that. But we must keep things in perspective. I am an historian by training, and I believe that what is happening in our streets now cannot be separated from the terrible history of racism in our, in our society, in our history. When we talk about violence, think of this. 250 years of slavery, 100 years of Jim Crow, over 4,000 lynchings of black Americans between 1865 and 1964, numerous bloody attacks by whites on black communities in American history, Here's just a short roster of the number of, of, of those incidents, those events. Rosewood, Florida, Tulsa, Oklahoma, New York draft riots, Orangeburg massacre, Colfax, Louisiana, Wilmington, North Carolina, Atlanta, Elaine, Arkansas, Detroit, Chicago. I could go on and on how much of this history is taught in our school history texts. This is violence. How about economics? The good news on the unemployment rate today is welcome by all. But while it dropped for whites, it increased for black Americans. The differential between the white unemployment rate and the black rate in the United States is the lowest in history today, but it is still double for black Americans. The poverty rates for blacks are double those of whites. A black family has one-tenth the wealth of a typical white family in the USA. These are, in my mind, this is violence. I am not trying to lecture anyone. I believe that the great majority of all people are good people and want to be, want the same things for their families and for their children. But the neglect of most white Americans, of the inequities in our society must stop if we are ever to change the uh, seemingly unended, unending story of, of, uh, of the damages that racism does to the American ideal. Thank you and stay safe.